Do you want to say hi to the people on the live stream? Yeah? Come on. This is Via. <laughs> he's a good cat. But he's very meow meowy. Come on. Yeah. He's fighting with his, uh, with his brother right now. Sal got fixed. And he came home with... Uh, Kitty Miss Jiku has <laughs> seen that. <laughs> oh, come on. Come on. Come. Come on. Yeah, you can come. Come on. Yeah, here you are. Yeah, you're a good kitty. Ooh, he's got sharp claws. He hasn't been trapped. His brother got uh, uh, got fixed. He came home and he, he Sal had an operation on the tooth and got fixed. I need a cone on his head. For like five minutes, Fia was like, okay, this is okay. And then he was like, what the hell? And he started chasing, like really trying to kill Sal. Oh, okay, okay, take it easy. Don't scratch me. Don't scratch me, little shit. <laughs> Funny. You just chill in here. You want to see him? Let's see. There he is. And that's his back there. You see a little fur thing. They go there and sit there. Yeah. Yeah. You checking it out? Don't chew my wire. Yeah. He was sleeping, he woke up. He likes sleeping with somebody. Kitty cat break time. Why no dogs? Uh, I don't want to go pick up poop. Cats are uh, easier to take care of, less required. Uh, you can leave them alone. You know, they have their pooper inside. With dogs, you got to take them out once in the morning, once in the night. Uh, I like dogs too. If I had a big area, a big space for dogs, like a farm, like a field that the dog could run that, uh, for sure we'd have a dog. But we don't have that right now. I think dogs, more so than cats, need uh, the space to run. You could get a little dogs, which are, you know, would be good enough. But, uh, yeah. World War Z. It was fun. CS Miho, my father would tell me if you want a best friend, then get a dog. Yeah, if you want to be humble, get a cat to a certain degree. To a certain degree, dogs are very loyal, cats don't give a rat's ass, <laughs> right? Cats are like, Hey, I want food or I want cuddles. The food's there, but not all the food. The dry food we leave out for them, the wet food we give it to them. Where they want treats but uh when they want cuddles they come looking right <laughs> he's such a good cat this is like a long time he's sitting in my lap go for us cheryl it warned me to see my is cheryl here i didn't see her name it warned me to see my name come up in chat on yesterday's stream my greenhouse is basically a tobacco country a county co no count country it grows 
wild really uh, what did you decide to do with your grapes uh, you know what with the grapes um, we ate a lot of them we still have some in the here let me bring this up the grapes um, so made concentrate uh, grape juice out of them and uh, so the juice I put in jars and we kept on drinking that for a while we pour that pour soda water or sometimes take shots of it, it was really good and the pulp of it I was eating like uh, like on uh, pancakes and stuff right uh, so or bread or with yogurt it was super delicious uh, the unripened stuff we keep in the freezer we use it for cooking so it gives it a tart uh, taste to it we didn't make jam we made juice um, it, it I thought about making jam but we just kept on eating it right I was gonna make more liqueur but didn't do it um, we have made liqueur last year with the grapes and it was super amazing I should have made some more grape liqueur but didn't do it he's so passing out he misses Sal he misses the company uh, because uh, they were together they spent a lot of time together but right now he's not recognizing Sal too much he's his testosterone is kicking in and Sal he got cut right this boy gets cut this Friday or wine yeah we didn't make, get enough uh, grapes to make wine and they're not wine grapes they were really delicious to eat chicho do you watch uh, formula one no no joe no no one day i'd like to see it in person i've heard the vibrations when the cars go past you is amazing but why do you cut them because they were really fighting um like a couple of weeks ago sal and via the two brothers their testosterone kicks in cats are territorial males go at it and they were really fighting hardcore like hurting each other they were like when they were fighting like it was like cartoon they go at it they're biting each other scratching like sal had a cut on his eye that went across like this um via has 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 bruises and cuts all over his body when you pet him you can feel it right and when they were fighting there were uh, fur flying all over the place like they would fight for a few seconds and then they run or we separate them and you look on the ground there's like lots of fur on the ground right like they were fighting that hard right so we had to we had to fix them right see yes it's nice sometimes to just sit and appreciate appreciate that which is around you sometimes we're too caught up in false priorities that we forget to take that moment this is one of those beautiful moments yeah thank you yeah. i really uh and the kitty cats have introduced something amazing into our lives like just the love the purring like sometimes when i'm working really hard and the kitty cat wants you know a little bit of um just cuddle uh, when i go you know cuddle him or pet him it calms me down and i start falling asleep and i take a nap and naps are amazing right it's good cheryl how are you doing to grow for us i washed and froze one quart as what well as while grapes last night nice and i plan to puree the other quart to make sherbet nice someone mentioned that and it sounds so good yeah 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 so they're the red they're the red grapes cheryl yeah the red wine grapes that are seedless chicho what's your stance on religion um you can i don't know this is a really broad question you can be, you can live your life however way you want uh, but you should make it this well some people define religion as spiritual having faith uh, so some people consider religion to just be organized religion I don't believe in centralized organized religion uh, if you're asking me that I, I don't 
you know, I think, you know, the, like, supporting the Pope, giving money to the Catholic Church, I think is crazy, right? Or any centralized institution is crazy. I don't believe in giving money to centralized institutions. Joe Chicho, I was at the 2003 British Grand Prix back when the car car was using v10 engines nice you had to wear earplugs because of the noise the cars are now using these oh they're only v6 i thought they were v12 at some point using v6 hybrid engines and it's a lot quieter now unfortunately have they have their speeds gone up are they just as fast their torque must be insane though if it's v6 because you need the torque to get the same power as the v10 growth force there's magic in in that tactile non-verbal connection with the fluffy creature <laughs> yeah growth force like it's so chilling here right now passed out that's it busy free man without a higher authority morality becomes just a matter of opinion um i disagree with that busy freeman i think we there are some universal truths right we do not have the right to take someone else's life right i think that's a universal truth um uh, and then we're gonna you know argue over what the punishment should be for someone that murders someone right pond f1 cars are hybrid now they are faster but quieter really cool 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 joe chicho they went from v12 down to v10 v8 and now v6 the cars are the fastest they have ever been now i believe wow really there's something about being around the v12 engine when i was younger i, I forget what car it was it was a v12 it was, it was beautiful man really it was beautiful v8s were the norm if you wanted power in the 1980s right i think it was a jaguar that was a v12 uh that i've written in but v8s man v8s are nice and gang don't forget free assange free assange free assange Julian Assange is a publisher and journalist that has been crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capitalist power to humanity. For more information, see wikileaks.org, defend.wikileaks.org, or our Julian Assange and WikiLeaks playlist on Sensor2. My partner's here. She's looking for the kitty cat looking outside on the patio. Oh, Via's up. Look at this. Look at this. He's up now. He's like, oh look look <laughs> do you want to go yeah do you want to go say hi yeah she's up you can go get the cuddles <laughs> look at him there he goes <laughs> he's like yeah cuddles cuddles funny funny He's a good kitty cat. He's a good kitty cat. Meow. 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 <laughs> Funny. See, yes. The V6 makes you appreciate the level of technology. The V12 reminds you of raw power that could self pump the blood around your body through vibrations. A different feeling overall. That's a great that's a great little description really the v12 man when you go it's like whoa right so the v6s must be the rpm the revs on it must be insane what are they revving at like really what are the v6s revving at to get all that power like what's the red line on them or what are they running at average? And she says, free Assange, Julian Assange, and Daniel Hale. Joe Chicho, my grand, uh, my granddad worked at uh, Silverstone and Dunnington Park Circuit 
as a marshal and used to be able to get me and my dad free f1 tickets awesome awesome joe awesome three generations watching the f1s together fantastic man goro forest i worked next to an auto shop for a few years there was always a different v10 dodge viper i remember those being worked on the torque was too much i laugh out loud the body kits were always nearly torn off hard to control i'm guessing the sound they make though music music v looks much more relaxed yeah via he's i've been cuddling with him like because we have the kitty cat separate uh, i've been sleeping in the living room because he's been missing company he's been feeling left out because we're keeping sal and via separate so he's he 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 loves that company right really they love that company oh you can hear him he's seen sal or smell sal he's, he's going a little crazy with it joe chicho they can top at fifteen thousand rpms now fifteen thousand the v6 are now around fifteen thousand rpms insanity just wrap your head around that fifteen thousand rotations per minute Ooh. wow they're hybrid engines wider wheelbase too wider wow wow so lower would they be lower ah oh, they have to be same low length otherwise they wouldn't make it v10s though taught that twenty thousand rpm no which passes that line to send a shriek down your spine wow 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 the v10s were higher rpms than the v6 really so if they're hybrid so they're running batteries too i guess right I gotta look into this. I gotta. I, I lost. Uh, I stopped following engines and cars a long time ago because I just didn't chase them anymore. Right? For some reason, I start chasing other things. Got hobbies got uh, taken over. Right? That's cool. Twenty thousand RPM on the V10 though. Wow! 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 I didn't realize uh, the V10s went that high. Crazy! Crazy! That's cool. Went from. Uh, politics insane talking from mental gymnastic and cognitive dissonance from people to cars cars asian pair and a real pair where's a real pair and a pair joe chicho the cars are no longer uh, allowed to refuel during pit stops so i think it's to do with saving fuel really are they running the same distance f1 technology is the pinnacle of many industrial innovations most of the things we see in everyday cars were once in f1 really 250 rotations a second and <laughs> Angie, Angie did the kid did the math 250 rotations a second whoa wow 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 joe chicho my dad wanted to get me into uh karting uh but it was too expensive oh the little cart uh, things it, man what a hobby what a hobby right what a hobby that's the stepping stone right there comes via that's the stepping stone right <laughs> via announces when he walks into the room i'm here cs there's an incredible video of honda f1 engine at 2000 rpm and it's unbelievable the pipes begin to glow a luminous red wow pawn traction control is a good example it's from the famous williams car which beat out art and sent out <laughs> what is it come here yeah come on come on yeah what's the scoop no you can't go in that room <laughs> he's crazy meow last few days he's been so meowy so meowy 
he's like he needs to be fixed <laughs> poor kitty cat i was so i was i didn't want them to go but it needed to be done he's got a lot to say he's got a lot to say joe chicho lando norris had a heartbreak today i don't know lando norris heartbreak who's lando norris now what was the heartbreak cheryl's loving the meows <laughs> You should see him. He's got Via's got crazy different types of meows. Like sometimes when he's walking, you turn to him and go, "Hey, Via," and he looks at you, goes, Meow. and he says like, "Hello," right? Or when he comes comes in and you look at him, you don't have to say anything. He looks at you, goes, "Meow," and then sometimes it's this. He wants something. I think he wants out. It's raining. Come here cs i'll translate <laughs> don't worry i know can't speak it was something about planning to round up his friends to start building the guillotines and then something else about tyrants <laughs> come here come on come on no you can't go in that room that's the room where we got the uh, a cannabis hanging tobacco hanging uh so and i got my comic books in there and stuff so some of my comic books anyway so he's not allowed where the comics are or when we got the cannabis and tobacco hanging and stuff right <laughs> hey actually i was doing some math last night trying to figure out how long it would take starting with one zombie <laughs> with a turning time of 12 seconds to totally zombie the earth uh divide the number of uh 12 seconds so 12 seconds in uh was a five uh so five zombies a minute and then divide uh, total total population of the earth by five right and that would be how many minutes i guess am i doing that right <laughs> trying to do mental mathematics joe chicho russian f1 was today russian f1 was today very cool he was leading hamilton when it started to rain hamilton pitted to change tires but norris didn't he then ended up spinning out due to the rain and ended up finishing eighth oh he should have stopped he wanted to go for it i guess was this the last lap last few miles that he did this or uh it was a while to go yet pawn lando norris is a young british f1 driver who was winning until the last three laps and it started last three laps damn he decided to try to finish on dry uh weather tires and went off the track it would have been his maiden win oh no oh no lesson learned lesson learned and the pit uh, the pit boss should have called him in right his pit crew the guy should have said the drivers gotta listen to the crew right they must they had to call him in maybe he decided uh, not to do it joel won your cat is making some good points <laughs> my cat is making great points <laughs> joe would have been his first f1 win oh man heartbroken heartbroken so who won a veteran one at three quarters of a lap to go it was only three quarters of a lap to go he should have eased off on the on the throttle a little bit three quarters oh no Joe, they did they did but he refused oh he refused oh he's gonna get a spanking for that so they called him in and he refused oh man you don't go against the crew you listen to the crew like that's one thing you want true democracy that's racing cars right they work together collaborate to be able to win otherwise they fail right you cannot have dictatorships 
totalitarianism in any type of collaboration like that richard they said too but he ignored it damn joe lewis hamilton got his 100th win <laughs> damn <laughs> hilarious busy freeman chicho if there are universal truth why do murderers murders happen without an unchanging moral authority how can you have unchanging moral laws binding onto humans in order to have objective unchangeable moral laws you need an objective unchangeable moral lawgiver uh, uh busy freeman the world used to be more religious uh right or let's say this way let's put it this way there have been times in our society where countries and regions have been very religious and they have committed some of the most horrendous acts in human history right so i disagree with religion being able to prevent horrendous acts that us humans uh, do right uh, so I disagree with keeping an organized religion there. I think I think morality doesn't necessarily have to come from a higher power. Morality has to come from the ability that we have to give life value, right? To look at something that's alive, may it be a plant, maybe kitty cat, maybe other human beings, and say they have their value is just as important as my life my value right hamilton won joe chicho no he meant there was three of four full laps to go oh three or four full laps to go okay so three laps to go okay hedgy i couldn't figure out the increase in percentage of zombies i thought one two three four five six etc but i was wrong <laughs> maybe we look at this uh, tomorrow during a math video uh hedgy math stream grow for a chicho which strain has the uh, best nose the fisher lash hash the finger hash best nose finger hash after trimming always has the best uh turpentine profile does it i don't know grow forest i do love finger hash i like bubble hash too All right bubble hash is just uh when you can shake the buds and you get uh crystals dropping i really like that or for me i use a coffee grinder i know people say don't do it you use a hand grinder it breaks up the crystal. I, mm, coffee grinder <laughs> throw the buds in there dry buds and then in the coffee grinder you get a build up of the hash and i scrape those every now and then what a treat what a treat that's what I like the best. Cheryl, I've never been overly excited about F1 or NASCAR, but rally, love it. Ah, rally lace racing is insane. And man, rally racing, the people that stand, like the cars going around, they're like they're this far away from the from the people watching it. I think it's insane, Cheryl. I think it's crazy every now and then you see one of the rally cars and i love rally racing by the way it's phenomenal it's just spinning around everywhere but some of the things you see when the cars go off and people diving out of the way and the car flies past them oh my god that is crazy 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 right crazy i haven't seen i haven't seen one live i would i wouldn't mind it grow for us They've actually started to uh, repurpose coffee grinders and market them for the cannabis community. So you've got the right idea. Really? Wow. I've been using a coffee grinder for like <laughs> a long time, like 25 years, if not more. 25 years. Chicho, coffee grinder. <laughs> Should have started a business. God damn it. Who knew? Right. Busy free man, Chicho. Yes, people do bad things under the guise of religion, but compare that to atheist regimes. So basically, you believe in universal truth, but that they do not come from a universal truth giver. Yeah, they're universal truth. And I disagree with you. Atheist regimes have done more horrendous acts than uh, religious regimes. The 
the European colonizers of the Americas killed off more than 95% of the population here. They committed genocide over cont two continents, really. And they did it under the guise of religion. Look at the Spanish uh, conquistadors. Oh my God. What the fuck? Like, really? That was under religion, right? So no, I disagree. I disagree. Right? Pond. Rally car racing as a spectator sport is Darwinism at its finest. <laughs> Rest in peace, Colin Mc McRae. I don't know Colin McRae. Cheryl, I would love to take a rally driving course. So much fun, so much fun. And yeah, Cheryl, my rally experiment was this. In 1998, I went to Ibiza. Okay. And I went to a, a party, you know, people were going to the clubs and I and I looked into that and I really didn't want to party with the people I was seeing. I wasn't into them, right? It, I partied a little bit, but I really wasn't into them. So what I ended up doing was renting a car and Ibiza has tons of beaches and secluded beaches that very few people go to, right? And a lot of those beaches are down dirt roads right and i know how to drive dirt roads because i did 10 years of geophysics in the 90s and there's a lot of logging roads i've gone down like pretty damn fast a little bit too fast tell you the truth right so in ibiza i rented this little car and down dirt these sort of gravel roads i would look on a map find a beach and i say okay i want to go there i gotta go down this and just go and i was like mm -hmm. On one of the roads, I was going crazy like this. All of a sudden, out of the bushes came out like two couple German. I'm assuming they were German couples. They walked out of the bushes in the middle of the road. I was going down like crazy fast. I went and they walked out with their map looking like this. And I almost wiped out. I went around them and just kept on going with dirt and gravel just being thrown at them right it was super fun it was super fun i did that for five days that was my experience in ibiza i parted a little bit very little very little first day or two and rally raced for five days by myself it was super fun super fun and i had moroccan hash <laughs> that's what you get in ibiza morocco or back then anyway you couldn't get ganja it was impossible super fun super fun subaru legend subaru legend oh really colin mcrae okay probably not a good idea Ch -ch -ch. 